Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and have you noticed that the long range FPV, both on the quads, usually 7 or 8 inches, but some people want to fly long range on 5 inches and this is kind of maybe strange idea. However, on the 7 and bigger uh, propeller sizes, long range on the quads and really long range with the airplanes is kind of popular maybe not always 100 percent legal and um, five kilometers this is really a long range definitely more than no range at all is kind of like a topic and to fly longer and to fly further you have to have what better efficiency better propellers lighter builds and bigger batteries uh, because even the lightest build with the super light battery will not really give you much and the majority of the batteries we are using for our flippity floppy racing styly flying fpv here and there are not really that good for the long range because the majority all the lipos uh, batteries we use are really optimized for high current situations. So they are very good at delivering 40, 50, maybe more amps, kind of constant current. However, they pay the penalty of being kind of heavy for their capacity and um, this makes them not really the best option for the long range. Here comes the lithium technology. The lithium technology that's known the best in the form of 18650 cells that many people put for example on airplanes for the long range. You can also put a lithium 18650 or any of those bugger bugger not bugger bigger uh, cells combined into 4p no 4s1p or 4s2p but then does it really make sense well yeah kinda if you only want to fly steadily from point a to point b and the point b is far 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 away then definitely lithium is best much not best better than lipo technology you can assemble the 4 s 1p or 4s 2p by the way on the quads forget about 4s uh, 1p builds uh, not enough current and it will just suck and it will suck all the time so uh, on the quads definitely always go either with 4s 2p or 3s 3p and it will be much better heavier but better you can solder this by yourself um i'm building from time to time my own uh, lithium packs but it's not that simple. It's time-consuming. You have to you have to know how to solder uh, those cells because this is not that as simple as uh, many people like to think. And you have to have a special uh, equipment to do it. By the way, I have a, I have a separate video on how to do it. But recently, you also can buy such a packs ready made for you. What I have today uh, is the pack. 4S2P, in total 8 18650 cells combined into one pack that is sold by the company called Farin's Frames and let me show it to you. She's a big one, right? And to be honest, almost, almost takes all the space I had uh, designed for the big uh, batteries on my Pirx 7 frames. It's really, really, really huge. After all, it has two stacks of the 18650 cell. Here are the first four, here are the second four. And uh, they say that it delivers around, it has the capacity of around uh, 6000 milliamp hours, 6 amp hours. And the current, I don't trust any current ratings uh, made by anyone because they are usually only, well, <coughs> wishful thinking. However, uh, for the weight of, I don't remember correctly, and I will put the exact weight in the description, something around 400 grams, you get a really nice, nice pack. And you get a really nice pack that if you have enough space on your quad or an airplane, like I had on mine, really fits nicely. And uh, to be honest, for a 7-incher, it's not even too heavy. 
Definitely not light, but still not too heavy. Every 7 incher, probably not really a 5 incher, but 7 incher should be easily, <laughs> by definition uh, and by design, is capable of carrying around 400 extra weight in, um, not 200 extra weight, so 400 weight in battery because of the bigger propellers. And in the air, the quad felt kind of nice. The nicest thing, however, was really that, yeah, this thing, this thing, because it has four cells and then in parallel another four cells really can deliver much more current than the 4S 1P configuration. So it was, I was not really observing too much suck and I was able to cruise for quite a long time, uh, but we will go into the times uh, slightly later, uh, without noticing any extra suck while keeping the current during the cruising speed at around 12 amps. Uh, even at the 20, 20 something amps the sack was not too bad and I was still continue to fly without worrying of this thing going into the ground. And now the flight times. Please do remember that the bigger battery means that, well, it will be kind of kinda heavier and will require more current to keep in the air. Also, my quad is not really designed for the long range. When I was building this, the low weight was not my priority. This is why it's probably like at least few dozen grams too heavy to be considered long range. Still, uh, doing the regular cruising over here with the speeds of 40-50 kilometers uh, per hour, so 30-30 something miles per hour, doing a few uh, open throttle situation where I was just gaining altitude, even few rolls and a few flips and flying everywhere where I fly uh, usually, I really was able to keep this thing in the air for 23 minutes. I know that some of you might say, oh, but 23 minutes is not so long. You definitely could have, uh, I have a pack that allows me to fly for 30 minutes. However, please do remember that this build is not really a long range build. The, it's not light enough to be considered a long range. It's either a cruiser and in the cruising uh, situations with from time to time opening the throttle, it was really fine. I also drained the battery to around 5200 uh, amps uh, with the voltage on each cell dropping to around 3.2 volts. In theory, I still I could discharge those cells to even down to 2.8 volt, but then the voltage sack would really accelerate at the end of the capacity. So I never I was not really interested in going below 2 3.2 volt per cell. And honestly, you want to know my opinion? 23 minutes in the air on one quad flying FPV, it's kind of too long. I know that there are people who like to fly, for example, with airplanes for hours in the air. For me, it's really kind of too long. So probably making breaks in the, in the process would, would be a good idea. Um, such a big uh, battery and such a big capacity has extra extra feature because you can only take two batteries and actually spend almost uh, two hours in the in the flying spot in the airfield because you really have enough juice to keep this thing in the air and fly and fly and fly and fly and, fly. and on the airplane ooh, it would fly it would fly even 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 longer so um if you really are not technically skilled to solder yourself a pack for S2P with 8, 865, uh, 800, 600, 18, 650 cells, uh, because you do not have a big enough uh, soldering iron, you do not want to use uh, the, you do not want to buy the uh, soldering uh, acid, and uh, this is not something you're interested in. The proposition from the Farin frames, fa Farins, sorry, Farins frames. I don't know why I always forget the S at the farins, so it's farins frames, long range, rrr, rrr, long, rrr, long range uh, pack. It's, yeah, kind of, kind of good idea. Um, on the price, um, you probably could build yourself a pack 
cheaper because this thing is not that super cheap it's about 60 euros uh, more than 60 euros per one so probably if you would solder this by yourself you can go cheaper but I know from the experience that then the quality would probably because it's not really that simple to build a nice pack and they usually look kind of ugly when they build when you build them by yourself but overall good product Good product. I still kind of cannot tell you for how many flying seasons this thing will uh, survive. However, I'm uh, with each charge and discharge, I'm observing the uh, internal resistance of the cell. And right now, for all the charges I did so far, four, yes, exactly four charges, the Internal resistance is kept nicely at uh, 8 milliohms per cell or actually this is 16 but divided by 2 because you have two in parallel and I will observe it as soon as I will find that there is something wrong with the internal resistance of the cells I will definitely let you know so if you don't want to build one yourself get one yourself uh, the links yeah we know where the links are so uh thank you very much for watching and until the next one bye bye i still now have to fly for 20 something minutes oh well bye bye